So in my last video, we had these names here, and we are looking for, let's say, uh, every week they have they report to a different manager, they're doing mini projects, and we just want to do a simple VLOOKUP uh, into this area. So we the VLOOKUP looks for this name, and uh, we look into this column here, and our answer is always in the column to the right. So we do the VLOOKUP, and we drag it down, and it's so simple. However, uh, on a Friday afternoon, we receive this data, this layout instead, which is kind of a crazy layout. Uh, now, the good thing is that the it's consistent, the number of people per group, and this top name is always the manager. But we want to fix this data structure. So in the last video, it was a formula solution. And here, I've been playing around with Get and Transform. I'm taking the course from Ken Pulls and Miguel Escobar, and I've learned a lot so far. So I'm going to try to do this with Power Query, otherwise known as Get and Transform. So this, da this data here is just in the cells, right? Just the way we, re we received it, uh, except for this like, conditional formatting. But now, to, in order to load this up into Get and Transform, uh, which is sort of a, a tool that will rotate your data and fix it all up, clean it, add things, we have to uh, format this as a table. So over here, I, I highlighted it, and I said insert table, and now we've got this table. It is called table four. And I also added these two helper columns because one thing is that, let's just do this. I'm going to highlight this over here, another conditional formatting rule. How do we relate uh, these, all the people in a group to know that they're in the same group. So we know the column, that's that's easy, but I need to have a column uh, or a group number over here. Uh, so now we know that the way we can identify these guys, they have the same column number, column seven, they have uh, a three over here for the group number, and we have the manager name. So let me just turn this on as well. So it's always the top name is the manager, but these guys now share the same IDs, column seven and number three, group three over here. And it's the same for all of these guys. If we were to scroll back and forth, uh, we would see that. So next step is to load this into Power Query, and it's really just a few steps and we'll be done. So I'm gonna go over here and say data from table range, which is gonna be the one I have highlighted here. Uh, go like that from table range. It's loading this in, and here we go. Now, I'm just going to resize this so hopefully you can see everything in here. Okay. And what's our first step going to be? Well, I just want to rename this. It, it says table four. I guess I could leave it, but I could rename this and say uh, one, normalize table four. Uh, and what does that mean? Well, I want every row to be a person, right? Because that's what we need in the end. So I am going to highlight these two columns. You can use the shift key if they're beside each other. If they're not, you have to use the control key and hold it down. But I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to say unpivot other columns. So now every row is a person, uh, and that is our first step, just to normalize it. Now, what I learned from uh, Ken and Miguel is I can just leave this now as my first step, because I could come back to this months from now, and I want to make it easy. Over here on the right-hand side, we see the steps, the source, the change type, which I think was automatic, Unpivot other columns. So we have it like this. I just want to leave this and reference it. So right click, reference, and now I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename it, uh, right, to be friendly to myself in the future. Number two, I want this to be called manager names. Okay, simple as that. And it's kind of obvious, but we have to go in here and uh, un unselect the blanks. So we only have managers now. That's all we have in here. Okay, good. And the thing is, I don't really need this manager. I don't really need this anymore because we know that they're only that these rows, these people are managers. So let me just go like this and say, uh, remove this column. All right, I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to right click and once again reference it, right? And I'm going to rename this guy and call it three uh, final query or I, I guess, right? This is going to be the final step, final output. I could have made four steps, but you'll see in a minute here. So final output, I want to this time say I don't want the managers, right? Because if it's not a manager, it's a regular employee. So that's what we have now. And I'm going to right click and just remove this guy, remove that column. And once again, you see all these steps over here. If you make a mistake and there's nothing that's dependent on this query yet, you can come back, uh, remove it or fix it up. But I think things are looking good so far. So now with this highlighted, I want to do that final little thing. And this is where knowledge of SQL or you know relational databases comes in handy. Go here, merge queries. I'm going to say merge queries like that. 
I am now going to reference, when this pulls up, I'm going to say, okay, let's go reference number two, because we need to pull in those manager names. And you know what? I forgot to do one little thing. So let's go back and change that. Uh, it's not too late. So I want, this is our manager names. And I want to go here, and I want to rename this and call it simply manager names. Or let's just call it managers. Okay, and now uh, over here in this one, I want to call these people employees to make it super clear, right? And we'll call them employees. And now we can go back, see how it added this, rename the column. Now I can click this. I can go back to the merge step and do this, merge queries. And this is looking good. I want to merge this back to the managers. And how do these two tables talk to each other? Uh, well, you have to have the correct join type, but you also have to pick what makes the key. Here we have two things together that have to be together uh, to talk to the other group, right? That's the, remember back with, in the table with the conditional formatting, uh, to be able to talk to each other, they have to have these two things. So, And then I'm going to go down here and highlight group and attribute. So now these together and these together makes that key, and with the correct join, they can... Uh, relate to each other. Let's click OK. And now we get all of this. Oh, we have to do one little thing here because we don't see the manager name yet. So I'm going to do this. And it's set to expand. And really, all I need, I can uncheck these guys and click OK. And now I have my employees and my managers. Now, I don't need these two. I'm going to come over here, right click, and say remove these columns. Hey, I, this is everything I need. So now, Oh, this is so cool. Just uh, close and load to. I'm going to say close and load to just so that I get a, a table in a new worksheet. And this is something we'll explore later. We're not going to add this to the data model. We're not going into Power Pivot. We are putting this right back into Excel, into a table. Go like this. And this is just loading. It's running, running everything. Now we have our information. But let's do a final step. And I'm going to go over here and say VLOOKUP. And this is all you have to do. So getting back to uh, making it easy for someone and doing our, our um, VLOOKUP and getting the correct sheet here, which is actually, which one was it? Sheet four. And uh, go like this all the way down and go like that. And then say a two and a zero and click enter. Now, we'd have to make sure that we only have two columns, right? Because I highlighted the whole table. So it looks in the leftmost column, and it, the second column is where we get our answer from. So we do this, we click it all the way down, and that solves it for us. So if you like this video, uh, please click the like or a thumbs up or whatever it is uh, underneath the video. And if you have any comments or any improvements to this, please let me know. Thanks for watching.